Singapore Singapore is one of the best planned cities in the world. Once it was a small colony, but it quickly grew into a modern city with top quality roads, housing, and public services. A big part of its design is the garden city idea. Almost half of Singapore's land is covered in greenery. It has parks, trees, and water features built right into the city, so people enjoy nature even in crowded areas. Getting around is also simple and efficient. Subways and buses connect most places, so owning a car isn't necessary. To save energy, they created the Greenmark system for eco-friendly buildings and even uses central cooling to reduce waste. Copenhagen Copenhagen is known worldwide as a city built for people. Almost half of its residents bike daily, supported by nearly 400 kilometers of bike paths, making it one of the most cycle-friendly cities on Earth. Walking is just as easy. Its streets, plazas, and even the famous Strogat Shopping Street are designed for people to enjoy without traffic. Nature is part of daily life, too. The once-polluted harbor is now so clean that people swim in it and green parks are spread across the city. For energy, almost every home is heated by district systems powered by wind energy and waste-to-energy plants, including Copen Hill, which even has a ski slope on its roof. A historic plan called the Finger Plan shaped growth along train routes, keeping nature between neighborhoods. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is a city that was carefully designed from the very beginning. In 1791, planner Pierre L'Enfant created a map that mixed a grid system with big diagonal avenues, circles, and open spaces. This gave the capital its wide streets, long views, and grand connections between landmarks like the Capitol, White House, and Washington Monument. The city also has huge green areas such as Rock Creek Park and the 135-acre National Mall, where museums and memorials sit along a long, grassy stretch. A special law from 1910 limits how tall buildings can be. No skyscrapers are allowed to block the view of monuments. This rule keeps the skyline low and balanced, making the city feel open and human-sized. Even neighborhood traffic circles, like DuPont Circle, double as community green spaces. Amsterdam Amsterdam is a city built around water, bikes, and smart planning. Its famous canal belt, called the Groftengordel, was created in the 1600s by reclaiming swampy land and digging semicircular canals. This made the city both beautiful and practical, and UNESCO calls it one of the best urban plans of its time. Today, the old narrow streets and mixed-use buildings make walking easy while trams, buses, and ferries connect the city quickly. But the real star is cycling. Amsterdam has safe bike lanes, calm streets, and even huge parking spaces for thousands of bikes, so people of all ages can ride comfortably. In fact, around 60% of trips in the city center are done by bike. Alongside this, the city protects green parks like Vondel Park and encourages renovating old buildings instead of spreading outward. Moscow Moscow is one of the most carefully planned cities in the world, shaped over centuries. Its layout is based on rings and spokes, with wide, circular roads surrounding the city and grand avenues stretching outward. Many of the inner rings, like the Boulevard Ring and Garden Ring, were once city walls, but now serve as tree-lined promenades. What makes Moscow stand out is its abundance of green space. About 54% of the city is made up of parks, gardens, and forests, including famous spots like Gorky Park and Sokolniki. The city's metro is another highlight, moving nearly 7 million people daily with efficient service and beautifully designed stations. In recent years, Moscow has added wider sidewalks, more trees, and riverfront parks, making it more walkable and welcoming. Tokyo Tokyo is one of the best examples of how a huge city can stay livable. After being destroyed in World War II, it was rebuilt into a megacity that combines tall modern buildings with small, walkable neighborhood streets. Busy areas like Shinjuku and Ginza mix offices, homes, and shops in the same blocks, while the side lanes feel almost car-free, perfect for pedestrians. What makes this work is Tokyo's transit system. 
over 200 train and subway stations move about 40 million people daily, so most residents don't need cars. Instead of limiting growth, the city allowed lots of housing but kept it compact, so buildings grew upward rather than outward. Strict building codes keep people safe from earthquakes and protect historic spots near the Imperial Palace. Parks like Ueno, Yoyogi, and the Imperial Gardens add nature to the city. Seoul Seoul is a city designed to keep people connected and moving easily. Its subway system is the longest in the world, carrying over 7 million riders every day. What makes it special is how smoothly it connects with buses, water taxis, and even bike sharing, so you can travel anywhere without needing a car. The city is also known for its green spaces. Along the Hangang River, long stretches of parks give people room to walk, bike, or relax. In 2005, Seoul removed a 6-kilometer highway that covered the Cheonggichon stream and turned it back into a public river park with paths and wildlife. This change symbolized a shift from car-focused planning to people-focused design. Madrid Madrid is a city where old charm and modern planning work together. Its wide 19th-century avenues, like Gran Via, make walking easy, while plazas such as Plaza Mayor and Puerta del Sol remain popular meeting spots. Green space is everywhere. Casa de Campo is five times larger than New York Central Park, and Madrid Rio turned a highway into 10 kilometers of parks and river trails. The metro system stretches nearly 300 kilometers with 13 lines, carrying over 2 million people daily, supported by light rail and buses. To control sprawl, planners set green belts around the city and spread jobs into several districts. Recently, the Madrid Central Zone restricted car use in the historic center, encouraging walking and cycling. Curitiba Curitiba, Brazil, is famous worldwide as a model city for smart urban planning. Under Mayor Jaime Lerner, the city introduced the bus rapid transit system in 1974. Instead of spending billions on a subway, Curitiba built special bus lanes, tube-shaped stations with prepaid tickets, and long articulated buses. Today, about 85% of people use these buses, nearly 2 million trips every day. The city also grew in a smart way. Tall buildings and businesses were placed along bus routes so people could live, work, and travel efficiently. Curitiba also became one of the greenest cities in Latin America. Instead of using concrete walls for flood control, Lerner created parks and lakes that protected neighborhoods while giving people nature-filled spaces to enjoy. By the 1980s, residents had more than 50 square meters of green space each.